friends. So we have a holiday coming up in January. It's called Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And it's a day, you may have seen it when we looked at the January calendar. It's a day where we celebrate the birthday of Martin Luther King Jr. And he's someone who lived a long time ago before you were born in a time where things in the United States of America were kind of a little bit not fair. I'm going to read to you a little bit about Martin Luther King Jr.'s life, and you'll see how some things were not fair when Martin was little and when he grew up. But the great thing about Martin Luther King Jr. and why we celebrate him is he took some action to help make the United States of America better and fair for everyone. So let's read a little bit of him about him. This is called The Story of Martin Luther King Jr. That's him when he was little, right there, working hard in school. And that's him when he was a grown-up, right there. All right, let me start reading and you'll see what I'm talking about. Here's a picture of him again as a grown-up. Every January, we celebrate the birthday of Martin Luther King Jr. Do you know why we remember him? I'll tell you. Martin was born in 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia. So this was a long time ago, before you were born and before your parents were born too. His father was a preacher, which means he talked to a lot of people. Here he is, he's a preacher in a church. And his mother, there she is, was a school teacher. And there he is, right there, little Martin. <clears throat> Martin liked to go to school. He always did more than his teachers asked him to do. There he is working so hard at school. Martin's school was old. It needed a lot of fixing, but the school for the white children was new. So when Martin Luther King Jr. was little, there were two different schools. There were schools for kids who had white skin, and then there were schools, a different school, for kids who had like brown or black skin, which seems kind of silly. Why do we need different schools for all of the kids? Um, so at Martin's school, I don't know if you can tell, but they have one swing here that is broken. The fence is broken, and they've only got one ball at their school. See, there's the broken swing right down there. Hmm. Martin and his mom and dad liked to go out to eat, but some restaurants would not serve them. So back then when Martin was little, sometimes him and his mom and dad would go to a restaurant and the people at the restaurant would say, you can't eat here because you have brown skin. So you cannot eat at this restaurant. Isn't that horrible? Oh my goodness. So sad and so unfair. Look how sad Martin is. He really wanted to go out to eat at that restaurant. But this restaurant would only serve people who had white skin. Isn't that the saddest thing you've ever heard? <laughs> Martin could not drink from all water fountains. He had to find one with a sign that read colored. So here's poor Martin and he's very thirsty. But this sign here says white. So only kids with white skin could drink from this water fountain. Poor Martin is so thirsty and he can't take a drink. Can you believe that this happened in the United States? How unfair and how sad. Now look, here's the playground for the kids who had white skin. Look, they have two swings, a nice slide, nothing's broken. And that made Martin feel kind of sad because that's not fair. His school had broken swings and not a lot of toys to play with. That is not fair. It doesn't matter what color your skin is. Everybody should have a nice school to go to. This made Martin angry. He wanted to go to the best school. He wanted to eat at any restaurant and he wanted to drink from any water fountain. Well, when Martin grew up, there he is all grown up, 
he became a preacher, just like his dad. One day, he spoke to more than 200,000 people. So Martin liked to go to, say, one place and talk to a lot of people and tell them how the way the United States was making kids go to different schools or drink from different water fountains because of the color of their skin. He was telling people, like, this isn't fair. He would go over here to this place and he would talk to a lot of people and say, this isn't fair. We can't have the United States like this. And then maybe he would go somewhere else and talk to some more people and say, this isn't fair. We need to do something about this. Then he would go somewhere else and say the same thing. And people started to say to Martin, Martin, you are right. This isn't fair. All kids should go to the same great school. And all people should eat at the same restaurants. And all people should be able to drink from the same water fountains. You are right, Martin. So here he is when he was speaking to a lot of people that day. He's telling everybody, this isn't fair. Martin said, I have a dream that my four little children, because he was a dad now, will not be judged by the color of their skin. And all the people who are listening to Martin are saying, you're right, Martin, you're right. This isn't fair. We should all be free to go to any school or drink from any water fountain or go to any restaurant. <clears throat> Martin made his dream come true. He talked to so many people and so many people agreed and thought Martin had a really good idea. And finally, the laws in the United States changed. So now everybody can eat in any restaurant. It doesn't matter what color your skin is. Anybody can drink from any water fountain. And kids can dream their dreams just like Martin Luther King Jr. Oh my gosh, now can you see why Martin Luther King Jr. was such an important person in the history of the United States? He changed things so that things were now fair. Kids could go to any school or drink from any water fountain or eat in any restaurant. I'm so grateful to Martin Luther King Jr. that he helped change that because that was not fair. And that was very sad. So thank you, Martin Luther King Jr. And I'm excited to celebrate your birthday. All right, friends, I have another book about Martin Luther King Jr. that you can enjoy for tomorrow. Okay, see you soon. Bye.